For Mastercam 2023, we've added multiple steady rest support. We can do individual steady rest and we can do tandem steady rest. In Dick's example, I have a long part and I already have a toolpath on it. I'm gonna do some port toolpaths here, but I am concerned about the support. This part's over 40 inches long, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a steady rest in here and over here on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my insertion arrow up. Okay, so this is after my clamp in here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go to turning. Go ahead and do a steady rest. I'm gonna start off with the right one. I'm just gonna simply say, pick a position here. Let's go ahead and say relative. From this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and move over. Let's say minus two inches here. Give me some support right there. And I'll select OK to that. And then while I'm at it, go ahead and uh, clamp it. So we'll add a steady rest right there. Now let's add one on the left side. Give it some support. Might even add, might even move this one here a little closer. Let's say uh, minus four. We'll go ahead and update that. And he moves over. That's how fast we can change the parameters if we need to. So let's go ahead and do another steady rest. Go to the left side here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and select uh, a motion. And again, I'm gonna just go ahead and say relative. I'm a position. This one I'm gonna move out six inches because I know the body of the clamps on the other side. I'll select okay to that. And then we'll go ahead and clamp it. Select okay. I'm gonna select all of them now. Let's run this through the verify. And what I'm going to do is I need to make sure that my sinks are okay. So this is the last of the clamping right here. So make sure that the steady the subspindle comes up and clamps first. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I don't want anything to happen to the steady rest until the clamping is done. And then I don't want any of this poor tool path to happen until after the steady rests are in place. So I'm going to go ahead before it calls up the tool. So there's my stream right there. It's going to do all the clamping first, call up the steady rest, and then it'll go ahead and do the port. I'll save this. Go ahead and launch my simulation. So here's our part. Go ahead and run this. So it clamps, comes over. Doing some port expert stuff. We got a little bit of five axis machining going on. Go ahead and rotate and do all those ports.